Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to this other video training around One Identity Manager. Today, I like to talk about reports and I like to show you on a simple report example how you can create such a report with Report Engine and Identity Manager. Therefore, I will show you in the first part how to create the data sources, in the second part how to create the layout, and in the third part I will show you how to make the report available in Manager. In the fourth part, I will do the same for the web portal and make the report subscribable. At the end, this is only the first four parts of how to create a report. In the future, you will find here much more deep technical stuff around reporting. One Identity Manager is a database related application. And if there is one feature that exists for any database related application, then it is reportable. That means there are many ways to get data in and out of the database. In Identity Manager, we support a couple of different ways to report data directly. First of all, everybody can use a SQL related tool to get data out of the database, for example, using SQL statements. This is typically not the recommended way to exchange data, but nevertheless, it is possible. Additionally to that, exists the way to build compliance dashboards. Compliant dashboards are based on SQL statements stored in the Identity Manager database, and they are typically displayed with the help of the nice gauche controls you may have seen in the web portal or in the manager. Another way to get data out of the Identity Manager is to build table-related data exports. They are often named reports as well, and at the end you are just exporting a CSV file or something like that that contains data so that it could be reused in spreadsheets and so on. Last but not least, there is the way to build high sophisticated reports using the report editor. These reports can as well be stored in different data formats, but the most important thing here is you can build an extensive layout around your data. These reports then can be displayed in the manager or they can be subscribed in the web portal. One thing it's important to know, nearly everything it's customizable in Identity Manager. That means you can develop high sophisticated reports, you can as well develop these table exports, and you can develop the dashboards if you like to do that on your own. Additionally to that, like every time in Identity Manager, a lot of these reports exist out of the box. As you can easily see in front of the screen, there is the manager, and you can see in business rules a specific job basic role structure, which shows a couple of basic job roles. And as you can see as well, it is a hierarchical structure. There are parent roles and there are as well child roles. Each of these rules do have groups assigned. You can see them here. And there are people assigned. Sometimes not too much. This is just one person. But if I go to one of these other roles, you will see there are sometimes some more people assigned. What I like now to do is to report this complete role structure together with groups and people. To do that, I like to create a standard report and therefore I need the report engine. I step to my launch pad, which I typically need to open any of my tools. And then I go to configure and there should be something that helps me to create a report. Add or modify a report looks like the right choice. I click on Run and my report editor starts. To start with my report development, the first thing I have to do is to click on the plus on the left upper. And then the first part of report creation starts. And this is to define the report and as well to define the data sources. I start with a report name. And I can as well find a specific display name for that. I can describe the whole thing if I like to. And I can as well select a base table, which makes sense because we are reporting here an org structure. So I just look for org, which is my role structure. And I can select a category. For example, I can select common. And that is to store my report somewhere here on the left side into one of these structures. So with that, I switch to data sources and start to create my data sources. First, I decide to create my job title role source. Therefore, I need an object definition, which is good. And it depends on a specific table, which is org. That's the same than before. 
And in difference to the rest of the product, I have to define the columns I want to deal with. For my specific scenario, I think description full path ident org and uid org as well than the leaders should help me. So start with description. Here we are. Next field is the full path. Here we are. Next thing is ident org. Here we are. This is what we need on columns for that specific resource. I close the box. Here are my columns. And because there are some UIDs selected, it might make sense to check resolve foreign keys because then I get together with the UIDs as well a display I can use. Now, as it is defined, the complete data source will now show me everything which is in the org table. And the org table is the table for all business roles. And that means I get all business roles out of all role trees. I don't want to do that. The only role tree I'm interested in is the org group for job title roles. And so I need as well here a specific where clause. To figure out what I need, I jump into my object browser. Here is my org structure. And you can see here a lot of roles and these roles look like they are as well part of the job title role structure. If I click on one of these, you can see always the name, but you can as well see always the org root. The org root is the name of the tree the job title roles are stored in. And if I select different cell records, you can see it is always the same name, which is job basic roles. And in reality, there is a UID behind. What I now like to do is to write a specific SQL statement that identifies all roles out of this specific org root, which is my role tree. So back in the report editor, I start develop. UID org root should be in select UID org root from org root where ident org root equals, and then I have to add the name in there and the name is exactly the name that stands here in the field. This is job basic roles. So back into the definition, job basic roles. I am able hopefully to test that. And exactly here we are. This looks like my job title roles. Perfect. First thing developed. Now I insert my second data source. And this data source should at the end contain the people who are located in the role person in org. Here we are. It's an object view. This is nice to us. We need another table, which is as well person in org. And this time I have as well to figure out columns. UID org and UID person will be enough. And I will check again resolve foreign keys because I want to see some displays as well. Next source. To get now as well active directory accounts displayed, it is easy to do. I just add a source ad group in org. But this time I like to show you another uh, query module. So I select SQL, for example, and write then a SQL statement that returns my values. And here we are. We do have the full path. We do have here as well the distinguished name, UID org and UID ADS group. The data source works well. I close that and here I am with all the information I need. OK, closes the complete front end and creates now a blank report with my new data sources. A typical thing in the report editor, once it is opened, is the right side. You can see here the property details pane and you can now select between basic property view, standard property view and professional property view. To be honest, the only making sense configuration is to see everything because then you can see here everything which is configurable. And this is what I need as a report developer all the time. After defining the depth of my properties, the next thing I have to do is to create relations between my data sources. Here are my data sources. And in difference uh, to the rest of the database, even if my data source is depending on tables in the database, the relations will not automatically be imported into that specific report editor, which is, by the way, the case for nearly every report editor. So what I have to do now is I have to define as well relations. And to add a relation, I click here on the main knot and say new relation. And first I have to name that. I want to create a relation between my role and the person members table I have. 
And to get that into the other fields, I just use copy and paste. Here we are. Then I have to define here the uh, mother and the child table. For example, my mother table should be the role table, which is my job title roles. The second one, it's the member table, which is person and org. Then I have to use a column that exists in both tables to get them connected. UID org, for example, will work. And I have to repeat the same between the member table and people. And that means my person and org, it's my parent table and my person table. My, that means my identities, it's my second table. This time UID person, it's the one I can use. With that, we have now connected the role roles to, the, uh, to that specific member table and the identities as well to this specific member table. Some more should be configured. First of all, how people are connected to departments. Therefore, I just create the next relation. Last but not least, I have to do the same with the roles and the Active Directory groups. So right click. Now all of my relations are defined.